get a video out this time. Hmm, well, before we get started... Coffee. Oh, yes. G'day guys, welcome to Yana Beauty. My name is Tanya and I'm your personal little guinea pig. And, um, wow, what a time we find ourselves in, huh? I, um, I found myself in a little bit of a rut. Um, my life hasn't changed that much, honestly. Uh, I'm not going to talk about this too much because it's all over the place. I'm not even going to mention, you know, the reason why um, we're all in this situation because uh, although I'm not being paid yet um, or may never be getting paid to make YouTube and I'm perfectly fine with that, I don't want my videos taken down by saying the wrong thing. So, um, anyway. Um, yeah, I found myself in a little bit of a rut. My life hasn't changed that much other than the fact that the children are home 24-7. And, um, you know, so I'm, I'm not like, um, I'm not a 100% homebody because I want to be. A lot of the time I'm at home because I've got to be. And, um, and that's what some people get a little bit confused or, yeah, I want to say confused, you know, with me. They think that, um... I should be used to self-isolation because I'm home all the time and uh, I'm going to tell you now it's just as hard for me because although I might be home often I want to be out where you guys are I don't have that luxury all the time so um, I go out well I used to go out you know as often as I could so no guys <laughs> People who are home frequently before this situation arose are still finding it just as difficult as anybody else who can no longer leave their house. I physically have not left my house in weeks and it could be months and I'm, I don't want to say I'm okay with that, but I'm starting to force myself to accept that and um, if it changes, you know and we can go out, great. If it doesn't, then I've got really no expectations, therefore I can't really be uh, disappointed, I guess. So, And that's, that's, I think, something that we're all going to have to sort of get used to. Um, try not to have any expectations whatsoever so we're not disappointed when we're told, no, it's going to be another three months, no, it's going to be another six months, it's the rest of the year, whatever. So anyway, we're all in it together, whether you were out of the house most of the time, some of the time, barely any of the time, um, and hopefully we don't need to tear each other down um, to get our point across. So, anyway, that's not what this video is about. This video is about today I'm going to do a face mask with you guys, and the tr point that I was trying to make is that I'm in a mental rut. Um, I've been wanting to make, I've got heaps of videos to make, and, and this is before the um, situation this year arose anyway. I do struggle to not only find the time to be able to do these videos, um, but it's when I do have the time I've got to be in the right frame of mind as well, so um, it can be quite difficult for me to have as perfect of a schedule as some other um, YouTubers, for example. But um, with this situation this year, um, that we're all dealing with, it's even harder, I guess, for me, uh, because I don't want to have to fake anything just to be able to put out a video. So I've already done a lot of rambling. Um, I'm pumped already. I, I want to do this video. I've, um, I've told myself for days, if not weeks now, that we're going to do this video. And I wanted to do a skincare video or a face mask video because it's just a little bit easier than putting full face of makeup on. Um, so that's what we're going to do today. Today we are going to do a face mask from the company. I believe it's Jinju. Um, I don't know. But I have tried this brand before. I've tried a mask from them before and I thoroughly enjoyed it. And I've tried some uh, gel patches and I really enjoyed those as well. In fact, I probably will go out and buy myself some more of those eye gel patches. So they were absolutely fantastic. So I'm excited about trying this one today. Um, <laughs> the thing is, is that this one's a panda one. Um, and I don't think it's going to look very flattering at all. Um, I'm not going to do a lot of talking when I have this one on. I think this one's probably going to move around on the face a lot, probably come off the chin. It doesn't feel like one of those super soft cloth ones, although I could be wrong. Um, so as I said, this one is made in Korea, uh, which is super fantastic because Korean skincare is like chef kiss. Um, it says that it is a... Um, let me see... 
I think it's a hydrating sheet mask. Let me see. Panda face sheet mask. Super refresher. I guess it. I guess so. And it's got apple in it. So, hmm. Let's see if we've got any information on the back. Not really. Anything in English? There's a lot of uh, different languages on here. No, we've just got a caution, just like any other one. And we do have a little guide on how to do it. I do think that is absolutely awesome. I love that. Um, I don't know the price of this. I got this in a Bella box. Uh, what month was it? Probably a couple of months ago. If you guys don't know what a Bella box is, it's a monthly um, beauty subscription box in Australia. I don't think they do it. Yeah, it's Australia and New Zealand at the moment. I don't know how much this is, but I guarantee you that it'll be on the screen somewhere here for you guys to see. And um, it says to wash the face, which I already did before, uh, stick it on, leave it on for 10, 10 to 20 minutes, peel it off, rub it in, or, you know, gently tap it in. So, pretty standard. We're going to get this on now, and um, I'm not going to make you sit the whole 20 minutes with me. I mean, I'm sure I could talk for another 20 minutes, but um, I might leave it on for a little bit, tell you my feels, and uh, take it off and let you know how I, how I went, if I had a reaction. Now, what I do want you guys to know, for anyone who's new to my channel, is that I so much as touch my face, and my face will go red. It's completely normal. You will most likely see some reddening on my face. Uh, to start off with, like when I take the mask off, um, that's usually completely normal. It is very rare that I do have a reaction. However, I have had reactions in the past and they've been pretty severe. So if you do have skin conditions such as eczema, dermatitis, any, any sort of sensitivity, I implore you to do a test patch first somewhere on your skin. Unlike me, I'm not going to. Um, I'm just going to stick this on and we'll see what happens, alright? So let's get on with it. Alright. So, let's have a sniff. It does not smell like apple. Um, wow. Um, okay. Has anyone tried the, the Nivea um, skin cream or face cream? Or even the Dove. Is it Dove or Nivea? Hmm. Either way. I think it's I think it's a Nivea one. It smells just like one of those thick, rich um, face creams. So, yeah, does not smell like apple at all. And I think I was wrong, guys. I think this is one of the really soft cloth um, masks, which if it is, super fantastic. I don't know why I thought that. I don't know. The packet was a little bit stiff. That's why. And it is completely saturated, and we love that. Well, I do. All right, so let's just get it apart. All right, so there's our little panda face. Let's get this bad boy on. Mm, it probably will go in my hair. I might get the mirror, guys. Very unprepared. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this is massive. <laughs> Guys, my headline finishes there, and I could still keep rolling that. Okay. This is for someone who's got a huge face. Like, long, I mean. Hmm. Uh, this is huge for me. <laughs> it feels really nice, though. Alright, so it... This, if I was to put this on properly, it would go so far into my hair, guys. It, it's ridiculous. So I'm actually going to have to fold this over. I'm not going to have this. Let me fix my thingy. I don't normally care too much if a little bit of product goes in my hair, but I'm not going to have this messing up my hair and making it all disgusting. I did just wash it. So we are not, we're just going to crinkle it at the edges so it's not all up in my hair. All right. All right. This is not flattering. <laughs> I'm not going to do a lot of talking with this guys. Um, this is not one of my favorite masks that I've actually put on applied. It is quite long. Um, it's, there's, it's got a lot of product on it, which wouldn't be 
so bad if it didn't taste so fucking terrible. <laughs> Alright. Alright guys, look. It feels nice. Um, it's a pain in the ass to put on, uh, so that kind of like deters me a little bit. Um, I'm going to leave you guys here and I'm going to come back in 20 minutes and let you know how I feel. Okay. Welcome back guys. Um, hmm. So it has been about, I don't know, 18 minutes and um, I'm ready to take this thing off. So let's see how we go. I'm going to grab trusty old mirror here. All right. Alright, so obviously you can see all my hair is in it. Well, not all of it. That's a bit of an exaggeration, but you know. You know what I'm saying. Alright, so let's let's try and get some of this hair out of the way. Oh. And there is obviously a lot of product on the face. So um, we're just going to do what it says. And that sort of tap it in. Just leave it on and just let it soak itself in. I mean, I don't think that this tapping, there's too much to tap in, you know what I'm saying? So I might actually bring some down my neck and um, let my neck enjoy some of this too. Now, just looking in my mirror, guys, I think this is the best um, reaction I've had to a face mask ever, I want to say, so far because... Um, I mean, I've got a little bit of redness around my nose, but it was already there beforehand because my skin's really, really dry at the moment. But um, in comparison to any other mask that I've done, I've usually had red splotching all over the place. So at the moment, this is at the top of my list. I mean, oh God, it's got its pros and it's got its cons. Um, I don't think that it's going to be an expensive mask. Uh, a lot of the Korean skincare isn't expensive. Um, I do find that this brand I haven't really had that much of a drama with. I always have this little bit of tingling happening which makes me panic straight away because generally tingling for me means uh-oh. Um, <laughs> but what I've noticed with the eye gels patch, like the eye gels that I was using, I had severe tingling. Um, but it wasn't like... It wasn't like the hot burning tingling. I can't explain it, but um, I had absolutely no reaction or bad reaction at all once I took them off. Um, it was great. Like, there was no reaction. There was no redness. Um, they actually helped, like, reduce my puffiness. So the fact that I haven't um, I haven't broken out with this one, um, that's definitely, definitely a pro. The con that... I feel is that the the mask it's just I don't know I don't know I guess see I don't want to get it all up in my hair um, the last thing I want to do after I've put a sheet mask on like this is then go in the shower and have to wash my hair because essentially what I'd be doing is washing all that um, essentially washing all the serum off my face that I just put in and I don't want to do that so I um, the fact that the mask is very oversized lengthwise, in my opinion, um, is a bit of a deterrent, but um, it has inspired me to maybe check out some of their other face masks. Maybe they're a little bit better. Maybe this is just because of the design and being a panda and everything like that. Maybe that's the issue. Um, so I, yeah, I, I like this one, guys. Um, I do still have a little bit of cool tingling here. Um, so what I'm going to do is, sometimes I do have reactions, but I have them like after I turn the camera off and pack everything up, which is, it's an ordeal, okay, it really is an ordeal. Um, so what I'm going to do is in the, I'm going to put a pinned comment uh, under this video and let you guys know if I had any bad reactions or any good reactions, so you can check down in the uh, comments below to see um, if anything else happened after I turn the lights off, so and turn the camera off, so... But um, yeah guys, I mean, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really hoping to get some more content out. I'm trying to get myself back into that right state of mind. Um, I've got a lot of videos that I really want to I really want to do. It's just, I've got to get a routine. I've got to get in that, that mindset. I'm not going to produce 
depressing, I guess, um, content for you guys, you know, if I'm not, if I'm not feeling it, I'm, I'm not going to put it out there, so, um, I hope that this, I don't know, distracted you for a few minutes, uh, it shouldn't be a long one, I don't think I, um, took that long, although I can talk, so guys, look, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for watching this video, if you do want to see more videos, I do a lot of beauty content, a lot of it's skincare and makeup, um, I'm not a beauty guru or anything like that, I just really enjoy sharing with you guys how I've uh, reacted with some of these products or my opinions, my feels, um, because nobody wants to spend a lot of money on rubbish, so if you'd like to join us, uh, feel free to click that subscribe button, but if you do click the subscribe button, like I say to everybody else, don't forget to check the bell, it'll let you know every time that I do upload, I don't have an upload schedule at the moment, I am working on it, so uh, yeah, I'm... <laughs> That was quite a mouthful. Um, if you want to hit me up on any of my other socials, I do have a lot of socials, but I'm usually either on YouTube, Facebook, or Instagram. So feel free to hit me up on any one of those. And um, I hope to see you in my next video, guys. Bye. G'day, g'day. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't get used to speaking to an inanimate object. Inanimate? Inanimate. Inanimate. Whatever. Anyway. Do a task. Do a task. Attach pest. Attach pest. Do a ta- What? Do a patch test first.